So you've just subscribed to Pleb Master Forge and you're wondering how to get your license. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do that. Once you just subscribed, you can head over to Pleb Master Forge and here you'll go on the top right and click login. Once you log in using Discord, it might prompt you here to authorize it. Once you have authorized, it is gonna go continue and go to the main page here. Once you're here on the main page, you can go back to the top right and go to your profile. Once your profile finally loads up, you'll want to go ahead and connect your Patreon profile. You can do this by just clicking the simple button and hitting allow. Once that is fully linked, you'll see that our benefits do show up here on the right hand side and you can see that we have indeed subscribed. Now just to preface, if it doesn't show your benefits instantly on the right hand side here, you may have to wait 5-10 to 10 minutes for the payment to be processed fully through Patreon. Once it is fully processed through Patreon, it will show up here with no issues. If you notice on the left hand side here, you'll also see that the next charge date is going to be the same day as the day that I have subscribed on. So if I subscribe on the 28th of this month, the next month I will also be charged on the 28th. This means if you decide to subscribe on the 17th of every month, you will be charged on the 17th of every month and your license will be valid for that 30 day period. Not from the 1st to the 30th anymore, it's actually going to be from the day you subscribed to the next month the same day. So the 17th to the 17th, the 15th to the 15th, the 3rd to the 3rd, whatever you decide to subscribe on, that is when it'll be valid. From here, we'll head over to licenses. Now on this license screen, you can click on this license that you have here. Once you click on it, it'll open the license up as so. So once we have this open in this panel, we'll go ahead and wanna open up our dirty cloth tool and we'll head to the help section and then register license. Once this pop-up opens up, we'll go ahead and copy our hardware ID and then we'll paste it here and we'll hit save changes. It'll prompt us with confirming that our license will be tied to this particular um, hardware ID until our end period. My end period is November 1st, uh, but yours might be different. Once we're ready to confirm, we'll click confirm and we'll have our license ready. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and download the license at the top left here. It'll again prompt you to let you know that once you do download this, it will go ahead and tie it to this hardware ID. Please make sure to read this thoroughly and make sure that you're not running it on a VPS because some issues might occur. Once we're ready and we have all read this, we'll go ahead and hit continue without uh, with download. And you'll see one last prompt letting us know all of our little details and how to actually activate it. Now, we'll go ahead and open up our folder that has our dirty cloth tool. So here is our folder for the dirty cloth tool. Now, all we need to do is go ahead and drag our license into this folder. So what I'll do is I'll just grab this to the side here. We'll go ahead and just drag this into our folder. Once that is completed and it is dragged into our folder just like this, we'll go ahead and just close out of our, uh, our dirty cloth tool and we'll go ahead and reopen it. Once it is fully open, you'll see at the top right here, it finally gives us a check mark saying that we are our license and we are ready to start our clothing. If you need any further assistance, you can click on this icon here, which will bring you to the Discord for some support. You can also click on the software documentation and you can also have an icon here to download the software itself. All these links will also be down in the description below if you do need to find them yourself. Other than that, that is the basics on how to install and get your software up and running.